offensive stop for the Wolfpack of Nevada. 7-3, Bowling Green leads. We have just gone beyond the midway point of the opening period. White throws it back. Almost intercepted as Duckett had it hit him right in the chest. The ball was just behind the intended receiver, Hankins. And I think it surprised Duckett as much as anyone. It also surprised David Hankins because I don't think he ever saw the football. Corey Duckett had a chance for the interception, a six-foot-four corner. It just seemed like they both lost the football. Here's Eric White. Drop back five steps. There's a throw, but look at David Hankins. He, he really never saw the football. one and third down conversions this time they need it down to the 44 shotgun formation and white over the middle and has it complete to red inside the 30 to the 27 cut right makes the stop well we're talking instant offense here tonight now i'll tell you and uh, ronnie red number one when you play a lot of man coverage and both these teams are going to try to play man coverage eric white does a nice job of buying time for ronnie red you see the man coverage he's able to get away from cut right make the reception and pick up the first down mike nevada has just inserted big number 73 joe caspers into the lineup he is 6 7 280 and the coaches say he does an excellent job here he's lined up on the outside and the right does a good job of batting down passes at the line of scrimmage. Straight ahead with the run. They try to cross him up. Breaks off a tackle to Jackson, but he's stopped at the 25. And it'll be a second down and eight. Lead it defensively. When you have a layoff like both these teams have had, two, three-week layoff, getting ready for a ball game, you'd expect that your defenses would be a little bit late coming around this you, when you work against your scout team in practice, you don't see the speed factor that you're going to see in this bowl game. So it'll take both defenses a little while to get used to the speed. Mike, I think they also both feel like they're they're just flying because of playing on the artificial surf. They are accustomed to playing on grass. Both of them. Straight ahead with Smith. Leroy. Boy, that's a pretty good collision at the 20-yard line. It's going to be a third down and three, and it's Brock Marion we talked about out of Bakersfield, California. Also, Martin Washington helping out on the stop. I think both these teams came in with a slogan tonight. For Nevada, it's to gain respect. We're in Division I bowl game. For Bowling Green, it was to stay focused. You're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Barry Blackney told his team, hey, let's get ready for this football game. And once we win, then you can celebrate and enjoy Las, Las Vegas. Well, they're two of two on third down conversions. They need to take it to the 17 to be three of three. Contact at the line of scrimmage, and I believe they're going to be three of three. You can see right in the middle, it looked like Jim Jones trying to get that quick move and get the jump on Cal Bowers, the center. If he was drawn offside or if there was contact. That ball, offside, defense. Yep, that's going to be it. Eric White with his cadence. Jim Jones with just a little jump there. You, you always tell your defensive lineman, Ron, you watch the football. You don't move till the football moves. You don't go on sound. The embarrassing thing for him is he's closer to it than anybody else other than Bowers, the center. Chris Hall, honoring some encouragement as his team looks at another first down. Zip Jackson will take it inside the 12 to around the 11. This time, Jim Jones is there to make the stop defensively. 7-3, to three, the Falcons on top. The Falcons of Bowling Green leading over Nevada. 43 yards so far for him. Look at Eric White, 6'6", Massillon, Ohio, the city that puts out a lot of good college football players. This time they roll the pocket. You see the backside pressure. Looks at the end zone, incomplete. Waited as long as he could for Hankins to come clear, but Hankins was being double covered in the base of the end zone. 
David Hankins, he, he did come clear, but Eric White just couldn't get enough on the football. As Eric White rolls to the right, he's looking for Slaycheck. He's not open. Now you'll see Hankins come into the picture and see if he just keeps coming around. Eric White with a little bit more on the ball would have had a touchdown. Yeah. Now, when you look at Mark Slaycheck down here, he's six foot four. So now you use your six foot four frame down here in the end zone. So let's keep our eye on Mark Slaycheck. Third down, and they need the five. to the open side of the field. Delivered. Slaycheck has it inside the five. And from where they parked it, I believe he has picked up the first down. Brock Marion was just on him as close as he could be, but looks like he's going to have the first down at the four. Gary Blackney's seen a lot of great receivers in his coaching days. He said he, this young man, Mark Slaycheck, is the best he's ever seen. Just an inside route, but you remember now he's six foot four, so that's why he becomes so dangerous down here in the red zone. Came into this ball game tonight with 82 receptions. Straight ahead to Leroy Smith, and he'll be stopped at around the three. Could have got that play in a phone booth. I mean, everybody was in was in close on this play. It was power football at its best. Good defensive surge by Nevada. Look at this play, count them all. Playing in your living room. Leroy Smith, there's just no place to go. Still picks up a couple tough yards. Good defense by Nevada. Second down and the ball resting just outside the four. Bowling Green. Leading by four. Touchdown, Zip Jackson. Went to a slot formation, removed two receivers. As Barry Blackney has to again be very happy with his offense. They moved two receivers out, eliminated two players defensively, and just blew Zeb Jackson right at the defensive line. Seven carries for 74 yards, or 47, I beg your pardon. Seven carries, 47 yards, and he scores the touchdown as Lever to attempt his second extra point of the night. He's got it. So let's take a break and let's look at it as he comes straight at you into the end zone. Zeb Jackson, the junior out of Toledo. Well, actually from behind, and you'll see the touchdown. 14 to 3, Bowling Green. I took dime pills. I lost 34 pounds. Six months later, the weight came back. That's when I decided to get off the diet roller coaster and get on a Nordic track. In fact, Nordic track is so easy to stick with that after five years, seven out of ten Nordic track owners still use their Nordic track skiers three times a week. It's been more than two years. The weight's still off, and I'm still on my Nordic track. You should give Nordic track a try. Call for a free video and brochure. Take weight off and keep it off for good. Nordic Track introduces the weight loss guarantee. Research shows Nordic Track's total body workout burns more calories than exercisers that only work your legs. Hundreds of thousands of people have taken weight off and kept it off with Nordic Track. And we're so confident you'll lose weight too, we guarantee it. We'll guarantee that you'll lose at least 10 pounds in 60 days or your money back. Call now for a free video and brochure. Ask about our 60-day weight loss guarantee. Wall-to-wall -wall basketball Saturday. Don't miss six great games starting Saturday afternoon at 12.30 Eastern, live. ESPN. Wall -to -wall. Pick up the phone for the latest sports news from ESPN anytime, day or night. Offensively, the Falcons of Bowling Green uh, have got something to kind of be smiling about. They put a quick 14 points on the board. We have only 228 left to play in this opening quarter. 14 to 3, and here's a look at it. Straight up the middle. Jackson gets the touchdown. 
And that was Scott Seeliger, the offensive line coach. Very pleased with the way.